Hey there, boys and girls. So today we are going to find out that we need each other. And we'll find out each of us is a gift to God's family. <clears throat> so first of all, I want you to pause this video and get a blank sheet of paper. We all have special talents and skills we can use to help one another. I want you to draw something special about you. Each of you is unique, and that means you're special and different. That's why we need each other. It's a gift to have one another. So go ahead and pause this video so you can finish your drawing. When you're finished, give your picture to someone as a gift because you are a gift to others. If I were to draw something special about me, I would draw my eyes. I got made fun of a lot when I was little because of my eyes. Pastor Bill made me realize that my eyes are special and beautiful. I should never be ashamed of my eyes. You might draw a picture of something that you are good at. I'm good at teaching. How do you like my bitmoji? <laughs> the Bible helps us think about why we need each other by talking about our body parts, like hands, feet, eyes, and mouth. Each body part is, is important and does something different. Let's think about something silly. I wonder what it would be like to have an extra body part. So would you rather have an extra eye, like our friend on the left, or an extra arm, like an, our friend on the right? Share with someone at home which body part you'd rather have, where it would be, and why. So go ahead and pause this video and tell someone your answer. I think I would like extra arms so I could get more done in a day. I could make dinner and vacuum the floor at the same time, right? It would be pretty silly if we had an extra eye or arm. Every body part is important, just like everyone in our church is important. We need each other, and today we're going to learn more about that. If you play a sport, talk about that. How do your teammates help you? So my son Christian plays basketball, and his teammates would often pass him the ball so that he could slam dunk and score. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one of Christian's dunks. If you tried to be a whole soccer team alone, you definitely lose the game. But when you work as a team, you can win. Let's see how some soccer playing kids had to work together in a different way. So I'm going to go ahead and play our Talk About It video. On a Sunday afternoon, not too long ago, these children were kicking their ball to and fro. Into the woods the ball would fly. But the kids hoped it was still nearby. Looking high, looking low, that ball go? Far and fast, the ball did bound, bouncing its way through the playground. The mission to find the ball began. Our fearless kids came up with a plan. Rolling high, rolling low. Would the ball ever slow? Team 
teamwork would be the key to this quest. Working together, searching north, south, east, and west. Into the bowl the ball would drop, causing this skater to quickly stop. Finding a van, the ball bounced inside, but this would be a very short ride. Meanwhile, the kids were crawling through trees. Where, oh where, could that ball be? But wait, the ball is chased by a beast. Would the ball become a feast? When all seemed lost, the ball came near. But with it, a great big dog appeared. Would the dog give up his prize? She slowly approached because of his size. The dog would not give up his find. But wait, an idea was on their minds. Another plan was quickly scrawled. The kids were determined to get their ball. Maybe the dog would chase a stick. That idea was shot down quick. The dog didn't even want a bone. He'd claimed the ball as his own. The kids would try one more ploy. Distract the dog with a soccer ball toy. Success! The team completed its task. The kids and the dog were happy at last. Why did the kids in this video need each other? Tell about a time you worked together with other people. Here's a picture of some of the kids in the youth group that I got to work with during their mission trip. We weeded that area outside of the church where there are those big steps and um, there's uh, those bushes and plants coming over the side. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever been there, but it's a really neat space, and I would like to plant flowers there one day. But look at that space, and there's parts of this picture that you can't even see, and we weeded it, all of it. But can you imagine if I would have had to have done that all by myself? It would have taken me forever. But we got this done in a matter of a couple of hours. In the video, the kids had a hard time tracking down their ball, even though they worked together. The ball kept getting moved to new places, but in the end, putting their heads together helped them solve their problem. When we work together in church, we can do amazing things for God, but we can't work alone. We need each other. So let's end our lesson in prayer. Let's be still and quiet and repeat after me. Thank you, God, for all of the children and people in our church. Thank you for all our special gifts. Help us to use our gifts to further your kingdom. Amen. Alrighty, well, I hope to see you guys either in church or right here on YouTube next week.